Hi guys, today I'm doing a new favorites and this isn't technically fall because it's not like seasonal really. But I thought I would just do like a new favorites. Like these are just like newer discoveries. Some of them aren't that new, but some are like just like re loved like things I've used a long time and just realized recently like wow I love this. So the first thing is beauty and that is two products from Milani. And these two products are very similar in color but different in texture. One is the Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream. I've heard these are dupes for the Kylie Lip Kids. Don't know, like at least the matte lip cream part of it. I love this color. This is shade 10 Adorable. It's like one of the lighter ones. And it comes off a bit darker than it does here, but it really, really, really stays put. And it's dry because it's matte, but if you put on like a balm before or after, it kind of blends it. It feels really nice. Like it doesn't feel that dry compared to some other things I've used. And it does stay put. I just really like it. Of course, Milani's packaging is gorgeous and this color is amazing and all these smell so good. I don't normally like sweet smells, but it smells like vanilla icing, but not too sweet. It's really nice. So I love that. Today I'm wearing though the lipstick and this is the matte, does it say what it's called? Just the matte, matte lipstick, I don't know. It's called Matte Naked number 61. I'm wearing this one today. It's a great like pinkish neutral, kind of brownish cool tone though. And it's a great color to mix with anything. Like I have a grayer lipstick that sometimes looks too gray and I put this over it or something that's too brown, put this over it. It brings back like every single color to a more wearable color. And this is only like four bucks too, which is amazing. I feel like it just is a really great color. It makes your teeth not look really yellow because like more warm colors can make your teeth look kind of yellow. I love these, they both smell really good. They feel really good. I'm wearing this is like my new favorite everyday lipstick and two skincare products one is the up and up deep cleaning pore strips i can't remember if i've mentioned these before but they come in a box like this they're still the target there's 14 strips in this and i swear this thing was only like six dollars and a lot of times on the cartwheel app for target you get like 10 percent off up and up these are so good it says compared to biore deep cleansing pore strips and now the biore ones i never really liked i didn't think they did much when you peel them off nothing came off on the little thing and i know i have blackheads so they should have come off but these work so well like I see so much more little like bits and you know that feeling when you peel off your nose strip and you look at all that stuff and you're kind of like really happy but really grossed out at the same time yeah that is the feeling from these and I really 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 like it a lot they're like half the price of the Biore ones and they work better they smell good and they last longer there's 14 of them rather than like seven or something so yeah if you can find them at Target definitely pick them up my other skincare product which is a newer favorite of mine I feel like I put it in a video though in, like a vlog or something this is one of the new clay masks from L'Oreal the pure clay masks this is the red one I absolutely love it they also have the black one which is for brightening and the green one for oil I think and this one is for exfoliating I mean I love exfoliating it's like my thing I feel like this one is very comparable to the Origins original skin mask that I raved about really recently. This one is a lot cheaper, it's $10. And this jar, I know it looks kind of small, but honestly on Instagram and stuff, they looked really, really tiny, and then you see them in the store, they're actually not that small. There is so much product in here, and it's a very, like, cool whipped consistency. It's not, like, really thick and gross. When you rinse it off, it feels amazing. It really makes your pores, like, feel good. It makes your skin so smooth. I do think that the original skin one is a bit better for, like, closing up big pores and stuff, but for texture issues, totally try this one. It smells so good. Like, honestly, if they had a perfume with the smell... I'd be all over that. It feels like you're really going to the spa and this is gonna last a while. I wouldn't keep it for too long because it isn't a jar. I would prefer it in like a tube just because it's like more sanitary. I definitely want to try the other two. Apparently the green one's a dupe for the white Glam Blow mask. I think the white one. I think. But I definitely want to try the other ones so that's super exciting. Love this. I'd really recommend these if you're looking for a good mask that's like a bit higher up than Freeman and a bit not so much like Origins, like Glam Blow, like Sephora good price range and you can always get coupons for these too and like the paper and stuff this is very random and kind of disgusting but this is the con air teasing brush they sell these in different brands this is a con air one i don't like it for my hair so what i'd use it for is to brush my cats now if you have pets especially with longer hair they shed like crazy you can brush like a whole animal off of them and they literally still will shed the same day so you get those weird metal brushes but my cats don't like them that much i feel like they scratch them too much or too sharp this has like that perfect amount of like if you scratched your boyfriend's head with this like i don't know you like a guy's like head massages is that sounding really dirty do you know what i mean i found it so bad anyway it's like a really nice like scratchy feeling like it's not 
I'm, I'm talking to you as if I am a cat. My cats just love it. Like if I even take this out, they'll like run up to me and like rub up against it. But it really holds a lot of hair too. So you have to keep emptying it out into the garbage every five seconds and more 10 seconds. I just brush them and they love it. And it really takes off all the excess hair. They look like 10 pounds thinner afterward. And then by the next day, it's like back to normal. If you don't want to buy a, a cat brush, because it can be kind of expensive. I think this was only like five bucks or something at like Harmons or Ulta. I know it's super random, but I've been using it for a while and I just feel like I never talked about it. And I know a lot of my viewers have cats so wanted to throw that out there okay another thing that i talked about ages ago and i feel like i put it in favorites since but i just wanted to throw it out there one more time because it's super important and i want to share about it but razors okay if you're a girl <laughs> reshaving your legs is like such a hassle and then you either have that option or you can pay expenses money amounts of money for a wax that you don't really know how long it's gonna last i've never been waxed before so i'm always like how long do i have to wait to grow it in i'm not about that life so i shave my legs just about every day it can become a real hassle and razors are one of the most expensive things in the world and i feel like they tend to be more expensive on the girl side of things maybe that's my opinion which is crazy because women have to use like we'll cover way more surface area with the razor than men which is like right here i used to use the venus gillette the, that whole line you know the ones that have like the little spectral little like um what is it even called? Like, like the, the soap on the outside, you know? So you don't need shaving cream. And I like them all, but I still cut myself and they weren't fantastic. I still had to shave every day. It was really super inconvenient. In 2012, this brand reached out to me. Now they're really huge. Like Tanya Burr is like getting videos sponsored by them. They're not sponsoring this video, I promise you. Ever, ever since the first thing they sent me in 2012, I have repurchased for myself every time. But this is called Dorgo. I know it's a weird name, but I'll leave the link, the link to their website below. 100%, 100, we're not 100 hundred percent buy their razors they are amazing i use the pink shea three i think that's what it's called i'll leave like the names below but i use the pink one it's like the women's one the prices like literally guys look at these prices you get like 24 of them for like 24 dollars usually to get 12 of them it's like 40 at like a big box like bj's costco store which is insane like the prices really just like make it and then you think oh they're not gonna be that great they are they literally like get right down to like the cuticle what cuticle the follicle i don't know um but they really make your legs feel smooth they last really long like honestly those ones that have the soap on them as soon as the soap is gone you're like okay i don't want to use this anymore but the razor is still fine but these since they don't have soap on them they like you still need to use shaving cream i don't use shaving cream i use dove um purely pampering body wash it's perfect it gets really creamy and it still cleans you can use it on your whole body it's amazing but regardless of that these last just so long you could you literally keep using this for a month as long as you keep it clean it's amazing. I buy 24 of these and they last longer than a year. Since 2012, it is now 2016. I've probably only made three purchases from this website and $24 each time. And in the US, it's usually free shipping with any purchase or over 25 or something. But this pink one is probably my favorite. They all come in these little individual packages, which is really awesome. I just really like that. It's good for traveling. It also keeps it dry and clean and stuff like that. And the pink one that I use, it like bends. I don't know if you can see it. So it's perfect to get around like your ankles and your knees and stuff like that and then recently i was like you know what maybe a men's razor would be a good idea because they're obviously more gentle and sensitive maybe they'll last longer i don't know i got this one which is the pace seven i don't like it as much as the women's actually which is a surprise i do like it a lot it really is nice but the only thing about this is because there's seven blades they're very close together and i find that it's harder to rinse out like the gunk you know what i mean but they do have a pace six i think for the men and that one's supposed to be even better than this one even though it was like the previous model and now they also have a razor that vibrates which is really cool and one thing i really love about this brand is that if you have a female handle you can use the male cartridge like you can literally go back and forth so you could have one handle and you and your boyfriend can share it and change cartridges and i'd highly recommend them and i know i sound like i'm full of crap and that like you know you're just gonna keep using the regular ones you use because it's soap and that and one but like honestly I prefer this so much and it saves so much money if you're on a budget. Like, guys, listen to me. This is the perfume my cousin got me for my birthday. I got my pistachio brulee, the one from Urban Outfitters I love. So I'm using that and I still absolutely love that. But my cousin got me this one, which I'd never seen in the store. I still haven't. She ordered it online and it's called Cell Ocean. I'm definitely pronouncing that totally wrong, but it's like the bluer one. Oh my god, it smells so good. I love it. It's so light, but like very wintry, but very summery. I don't know. I just absolutely love it. And honestly, it's not just this one. Anything from this line at Urban Outfitters is amazing. This is a lotion from Bath & Body Works, and it is the 
Bath & Body Works Aromatherapy Sleep Body Lotion. Now I had the vanilla lavender one for ages and I went to the store and smelled this one which is black chamomile detoxify while you dream. Limited edition formula is infused with bamboo charcoal extract to help detoxify overnight and chamomile essential oil to enhance sleep. It comes in this really cool like bottle. Um, it's like hard like it's like glass or something it's like super cool it's kind of manly actually but whatever and it smells amazing like honestly it leaves your hands soft and smooth ingredients are so unbelievably long <laughs> but, oh my god it smells so good so relaxing like i use this every night just like, on my hands and on my arms before i go to sleep and i don't know that it helps that much i mean i feel like it does but it might just be like you know in my head this is limited edition it says so definitely go and pick it up before it's not there anymore but. two shows i want to talk about one is i feel like i put these in a video for what shows i'm watching in fall i wanted to add one to that list actually i might as well mention it here it's called pure genius i really hope it's not canceled but it's with people i dermot mulroney that's one of them and um Odette Annadale, the guy Dave Annadale, his wife, is another hospital kind of show. But I really love that kind of stuff. I'm really into that. And it's kind of about the doctors, but it's about a hospital that's like really high tech. And it's like this guy who's a billionaire opened this hospital really for like a more selfish reason, but he's there helping people and like he loves it and he wants to keep doing it. Like so it's running for the right reasons. And I've only seen the first episode <laughs> last night, but I really like it. I just gave it I just like watched it because I like the actors in it and I want to give them a chance. But it's really good and I'm really afraid it's not gonna be um, picked up and I feel like it's gonna be cancelled. I hate that to say that, but I could just feel it in my bones. Because I think it's on CBS channel two. I think, but it's on Thursdays at 10 p.m. on CBS, I think. It really like blew me away and I cried, so it's a good show. Another two shows, one I've already talked about, which is Supergirl. I love it. It's like a new favorite of mine. Also, by the way, Containment is on Netflix. Go watch it. I know you probably couldn't watch it if you missed it on CW, but now it's on Netflix, so go watch it. But Supergirl is really good. It's kind of cheesy, but it's like super girly, and I don't usually love that. But all the actors are really good and the relationships are cool and now Chris Wood is on it so I'm all about that life. And his personality is so amazing, I'm so happy, oh, I love it. And then another show which I also mentioned in that fall TV video was Reba. I'm just like watching all the repeats and stuff on like Freeform and like TV Land and it's just such a good show, family show, like definitely watch it, it's very good. Oh, one thing I wanted to talk about was this necklace, um, I put it in my birthday haul my dad got it for me and I just really love it like I just think that the whole like gesture was super sweet like he went to the store and picked it out by himself and like I don't know I just think that was like super 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 sweet of him and it's gold and it matches like everything and it's simple and it's me and I love it so much just my cross I love it what can I say um, so this video is kind of random and like a weird favorites and not I don't know what it was really but if you liked it please let me know in a comment by or giving it a thumb up a thumbs up you know what I mean. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I really, really, really appreciate it because then you'll be a favorite too. That was weird. Um, but okay. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye.